Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and create the tooltip for items that we have equipped as well as enable the ability to click on an item that you have equipped and have it go back to your backpack. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and I'm going to open up Mondevelop. Alright, so if we go down to our, I believe I called it Equipment Panel, oh sorry, it was Display Equipment. Uh, right now all we're doing is actually displaying the icon of the item. Now we're going to display a tooltip. Now if we go back up to our inventory window, we can actually just cut the code out of there. And here it is right here. We're creating a new GUI content. So I'm just going to actually cut and copy this whole thing. I'm going to come back down to our display equipment and I'm just going to paste it in. Now all we have to change is this player character inventory part and what we want to change it with is our player character equipment or equipped weapon part. So I'll just cut that and I'll paste it in over here. I'll save that off and let's go check it out. I'm uh, sorry, we also have to change where they were getting the tooltip from. So we'll also want to save it there. And of course, not the icon part. So we'll save that off. We'll make sure that we're calling our set tooltip down here. And that should be everything we need. So let's head back into Unity and we'll try that out. So we'll fire it up. I'll just move my character panel over. I'll run over, open up a chest. And I'll just grab everything out of it. And I equip a sword. And now when I hover over the sword, I am getting the tooltip. And let me see, let's switch items. And there we go. We're getting the tooltip there as well. So let's go ahead and start enabling the ability to click on this item and have it go back into our inventory. So I'm going to stop Unity. I'm going to go back into Model Develop. So we're going to enable some functionality for our, our button now. So we'll just add the if before and come over here and complete the if block. So now if we press on this button, which contains the icon for our item, what we're going to want to do is remove it from being equipped and add it back into our inventory. So let's add it to the inventory first. So inventory, well, player, character, dot, inventory, dot, add. And what we want to add is, well, this item, which I'm just going to cut and paste from up here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and remove this item. I'm just going to paste this in and tell it to equal null. Now eventually we'll want to come back through and make a check here to make sure that we actually have room in our inventory to put this item in before we try to unequip it. But since I haven't set up any bounds yet for how many items we can actually have in our inventory, uh, I'll come back to it when we after we've done that. And one other thing I wanted to do was actually change the way the empty slot's going to look. I want it to look like one of my empty inventory slots. So I'm just going to come back up here to our inventory window. And I'm just going to look for the code that displays the empty uh, pack slot. And I'm just going to cut and paste that in. So we're checking to see if the inventory count was there. So that means else is down here. And here it is right here. Let's cut and paste that in. I'll leave an empty string there so nothing is displayed. And then I'll put the, the GUI style name there. In order for that to work, actually, we are going to have to come up here and say that our GUI style, I guess we'll just set the scan as well. 
a GUI skin is equal to my skin. And that should be fine. So let's go back into Unity. We'll let it recompile the script. We do have an error. And I did GUI skin wrong. It should have been GUI.skin. It's equal to my skin. Actually, that line might not even be needed, to be honest. Uh, let's go check to make sure. I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to clear. Let's start it up. Uh, let me take a look at the character. Yeah, that line's not even needed. So if you have it, get rid of it. Since I already have the style made, I might, might as well use it. It seems that I am getting a bit of artifacting around the edges. And I think that's because of the anti-aliasing I set up on it in Photoshop. But I'll have to check to make sure. It could also be the compression. Sometimes you just can't compress GUI textures. But now when I click it, it goes back into my inventory. So let's grab this axe. And I'll put the axe back. And it just gets added to the end. So we'll just stop Unity. And that should wrap it up for this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.